Hi, in this video I am going to run through how to do a volume calculation based on a surface comparison. And what I have here is I have already created two drawings. The first one shows the original ground levels for a site. And if I look at the surfaces over here, you can see that I've created a surface called original ground level. On a second drawing based on a second survey of the site after some topsoil and subsoil had been stripped, I have another surface in here called excavated surface. Now the two sites, or just two surfaces do look similar, but the levels on one are lower than the levels on the other one. So to create a volume calculation based on surface data, I'm going to link the excavated surface into my original surface drawing using the data shortcut method. So over here on your prospector tab, if you scroll down until you find data shortcuts, we're going to select that and then do a right click and just have a look at where my data is going to be saved first of all. So I'm going to set working data and by default it should go to um, the correct one automatically. So I just have to look for mine here because I've been playing around with it for a second, but yours should automatically go to civil 3D projects. So within this uh, shared folder, you can put all of your projects. I'm going to make a new one and I'm going to call it volume calculation example. And I'm going to go OK. So now I've got a folder for my data. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to do a right click over here and I'm going to say new data shortcut for the project I'm working on. And I'm going to call this one uh, surface data. And I'm going to go OK. Now that I've done that, I can do a right click on create shortcut, uh, sorry, a right click on data shortcuts and select the create data shortcuts option. So before I do that, I have to come down here to associate the project um, with the current drawing. So I have to just make sure that I've got the correct thing set up here and it is, it's okay. So now I can come down to surfaces, uh, sorry, back up to data shortcuts, do a right click and go create data shortcut. And now I've got the data that's available to me. What I've got here at the moment is just surfaces, but later on in the drawing, it could be pipe networks or road alignments whatever you like, but I'm going to just bring in those uh, surfaces. So I click on there and I go OK. So that has created a surface shortcut now in the correct folder for a surface called excavated surface. I'm just going to save my second surface drawing at this point and then I can close it down. So I'm back to my original surface now and what I need to do is bring in the excavated surface data. So I'm going to scroll down here on my prospector tab to find my data shortcuts. Here's my uh, surfaces, here's my excavated surface. And if I do a right click on that and go create reference, I can bring this data in. Now I'm gonna change the color of it so that it stands out a little bit more against the green. So I'm gonna change the new surface to triangulation cyan and go okay and go okay again. And now you can see that the second surface has been brought in. So to do a volume calculation based on a difference between those two surfaces is quite straightforward. You click on the surface in the drawing itself and you should find now you've got this analyze toolbar on your ribbon and we want to go to this button here which is the volumes dashboard. So when I click on that I get to see my volumes dashboard coming up. Now I'm using a screen which is an unusual resolution so you will probably see buttons up here a little bit bigger than I can see them but the one we're looking for is this one here which is the create new volume surface button. When I click on that it's basically asking me what are the names of the surfaces that I want to use for the volume calculation and I can rename the new surface that's about to be created. So I'm going to rename that and I'm going to call it volume surface. And I'm going to use my base surface as my original ground level, which is already in this drawing. And I'm going to use my comparison surface as my excavated surface, which came from a different drawing originally, but it's now contained within this one. I can look at different things like compaction or bulking factors here, but I'm going to leave those as one for the moment. And when I click on OK, 
I should see my results of my volume calculation along here. Okay, so the main thing we can see here is that we've got a large amount of cut and we've got no fill. So the reason for that is that the second surface that we brought in was a stripped level surface compared to the original ground. So everything had been cut out of that site. Now these units are in cubic meters. So we found out that we've got a cut of 220,600, sorry, 220,869.55 cubic meters in cut. So that's a quick method of comparing surfaces to get volume data out using the data shortcuts tool.